Hey guys, Jacob here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing this room, little room tour gaming setup, studio kind of uh, tour video. I've been wanting to do this video for ages now um, and I have finally just sorted out everything. I made this room to how I want it to be and so I can now like make a video out of it. So let's just get going. So obviously to get in this room, you've got the door. There's a cowboy hat there, in case I want to be Red Dead Redemption. This door doesn't actually open all the way because the sofa blocks it. Um, but the sofa could only go two ways. And this way is better because it is actually further from the TV. I just walked into the table. All right. So the cool thing, we have got the Dark Knight Returns poster. Uh, you can actually see me in the reflection. What's up? So, yeah, I think that's a pretty cool poster. Um, yeah, not really much else to say uh, there. So then on the top of uh, where the curtains are and everything, we've got my headset. I've just got that there. I don't often use my headset anymore. Um, curtains, I've closed them because it's bright. and I don't want you guys to know where I live. So here is the gaming setup. There's the TV where you can see me in it. We've got the Nintendo Switch, the PS5, and a little Jolteon plush. Jolteon is my favourite Pokemon. So of course I have to have a plush of it. Down here we've got the PlayStation 4. A DVD player. Um, some wires. We've got a couple controllers. The PS4 or PS3 controller. Got a, a camera that doesn't really work. Got the 3DS. Uh, a DS is all the way back there. Switch case is back there. Got the Wii U gamepad. Then we've got a PS3 down here. We've got the Wii U there. And then we've got a Skybox here. So I can just... You know what sky uh, a couple wires are down there as well um yeah and those four boxes are for the harry potter ones which are on my shelf so uh on the radiator here just got a gryffindor magnet because i am a gryffindor and then we've got a yellow monkey because i like monkeys they're cool so here we have got the darth vader helmet i have made um a tiktok about this so you could go watch that um yeah, so my TikTok page, but this Darth Vader helmet, really cool. Um, I keep knocking into this table and move out of the way. So I've got a table. This is where I just put the remotes and the controllers and stuff when I'm not using it. Got um, a glass and a mug there because I've been drinking some coffee and water. Okay, so here, actually, since it's Christmas time, I've got my decorations up. So here we have got a it's like a little fox thing i chose this i really like it it'd be better without the glitter on it but you know whatever then we've got, got some blue tinsel on the windowsill yeah and then we have got the infinity gauntlet i yeah i, I put both of the uh uh collectibles on top of that box it's here it looks good there got the infinity gauntlet that's pretty cool so now moving on to the shelf a lot of my collection is just here I like collecting nerdy stuff. So I guess we'll start up here. Uh, we've got the Temple of Light Ninjago set with Kai's little fire me uh, mech there. That's pretty cool, I've had that for a while. Then we have got the Firstborn set. Um, again, this is one of my favorite Ninjago sets actually. It's really good. Then we've got a uh, Zane's Mino creature, I think. That's all right, it's pretty cool. Another one of my favorite Ninjago sets, the Thunder Raider, the Thunder Raider from uh, Ninjago Legacy. I think it's pretty cool. I keep all the Ninjago sets on top shelf. Um, and then we've got the Monastery of Spinjitzu, probably my favourite Ninjago set. It looks so accurate to the show and it's so good. And then I've also put each of the original four ninja there. So we've got uh, Zane, Cole and Kai and Jay with all the legacy ones there. So here we've got a few books like the Narnia books, Harry Potter books, Percy Jackson books. We've also got uh, the Golden Dragon Legacy set from Ninjago. We've got the Giant Man pop figure, Venomized Hulk, Venomized Captain America, Luke Scamander, Harry Potter, Hulkbuster, um, a little Lycan Rock and Lego Gandalf. And then we've also got a Pokeball. So moving down to this shelf, this is what I call the Avatar shelf. Avatar The Last Airbender is my favorite TV show of all time. So here we have got The Last Tales of, uh, well, no, The Last Adventures and Team Avatar Tales. Then we have got all of the Avatar comics that are out, starting with The Promised, uh, The Promise, uh, part one, finishing with The Legend of Korra, uh, whatever it is, Ruins of the Empire. Okay, that's not going to go back there, who cares? Uh, we've also got Legacy of the Fire Nation book, I still need to read that. Uh, the Rise of Kyoshi and Shadow of Kyoshi novels, I still need to read them. 
Then we've got a um, Avatar Aang in the Avatar state uh, pop figure. I really like this one. I wanted to get a Avatar pop for this shelf. Um, so yeah, that was actually pretty cool to get. Here we have got all my comics. This is a uh, poster, like the Daredevil poster uh, for the Daredevil box set, which I still haven't read. I got it like two years ago. Uh, it's on my TikTok page, I mean, like opening up and everything. It's really cool. Uh, we've got a bunch of just random issues here. Batman Year One, uh, Haunted Night. Actually, I'm going to make a video about my comic collection, so I'll save that for another video. Uh, we've got Thanos Pop, Black Panther, Flash, Wonder Pop, uh, Scarlet Witch. Uh, got Captain McCarter minifigure, Scarlet Witch minifigure. Uh, then we've got like a little Marvel set here from Infinity War. I forgot what it's called, but we all know what it is. Okay, down here is my DS games with the champion amiibos from Zelda Breath of the Wild with Raleigh. He's my guy, the best champion. He's got the best ability, the best character. Uh, we've got a bunch of Wii and Wii U games here, along with Switch. So we've got some Amiibos. Uh, yeah, Guardian, a lot of links. Yoshi figure, Bullet Bill figure, Luigi. Uh, we've got a Bowser Amiibo. And we've got this uh, Supersonic figure. I found this for like £7 in the reduced section at Tesco. So that was pretty cool. Then we've got a Dialga figure that I got for ordering um, Brilliant Diamond. So that's pretty cool. Then we've got... Sorry, I keep knocking the camera into stuff. Uh, then we've got the Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle little uh, collection. I've, I've had them for ages, man. Like I got it for ten pounds just for all three when I was like nine years old. So that was pretty cool. Uh, we've got a Sonic, Knuckles, and Metal Sonic figures along with Froakie, the best starter Pokemon, Raichu, Pikachu, and Eevee figures. As you can tell, I am a massive nerd, man. All right, so down here we've got a plush of Froakie with a Flash mug. Well, I just keep random changing it. Then we've got an Iron Man figure. Uh, he's missing like two fingers. I don't really know if you can you can see. Mm. Oh no, he's missing three. Oh, okay. Sad days for Iron Man. Uh, yeah, and then we just got a few PS3 games. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, so down here, oh, we have got uh, uh, Gandor Ganondorf. Ganondorf? Yeah, Ganon. I don't. I feel like I'm forgetting his name, but that is his name. Yeah, uh, a figure of him from Zelda: Wind Waker, with Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, and Boba Fett Lego minifigures. Got Donkey Kong and a pop of Spider Man, uh, my favorite comic character. And he's got a bunch of PS5 and PS4 games. Again, I'll save these for a video to make. Um, down here, got a plastic Captain America shield, uh, Anakin's lightsaber, also plastic. Got a Tri Wizard cup right there. Sorry if the camera just glitched there. And then we've got four Harry Potter ones. The top one is Hermione's, the second one is Ron's, the third is Ginny's, and the fourth is Harry's. Okay, down here, this is the shelf that, if I get more stuff, will probably be rearranged. Because at the moment, I've just put Lego sets here to just sort of fill out everything. So we've got, uh, what's his name? Like Zippy from the island of Ninjago. Then we've got but I think it's, I actually forgot the name. I feel like it's like Nightcrawler or something. I don't know. Um, bunch of, yeah, just Sons of Garmadon sets. Sons of Garmadon is top three Ninjago season. So I made like a little display of everything. We've got Zane and Mr. E there on their bikes. Trying to get that only mask. We've got Kai with his boat um, and some sort of Sons of Garmadon like biker. Then we've just got Lloyd in the car with Nia and Ultraviolet. Okay, so... So I'm moving down this, to this shelf. Uh, yeah, this this angle can work. So uh, up here we've got a Pokemon trainer and Pikachu amiibo with a Bulbasaur figure. We've got a Trico plush there, and then we have got um, the 501st. Uh, I I forgot the set name, but it's it's of the 501st. Um, you get that sort of uh, thing. Like I've, I I'm rambling right now. Yeah, um, but then from like an old Star Wars that I got, I forgot her name, uh, don't hate me, and we've got Ahsoka there, so I just put them together, and obviously like two droids. Okay, so then we've got uh, the first series of the Pokemon manga, so it's like one to what, seven I believe, and then we've got the Lord of the Rings book, because uh, uh, the Fellowship of the Ring, the Two Towers, and the Return of the King, still need to read them, I'm currently on Percy Jackson right now. And then last uh, bit of the shelf, we've got, I'm sorry. We've got the Ninjago crystallized setup. So over here, 
one of my favorite Ninjago sets actually. We got the uh, like I think it's called the Ultra Golden Dragon. I forgot, man. But it does have that really cool Oni Lloyd minifigure. Um, so yeah, I've just got a few of the Ninja Fighting Vengeance Warriors down here, and then behind the dragon is actually Jay on his motorcycle with him in his uh, dragon form. I, I wanted to get a ninja in the dragon form and like Jay was the cheapest and also Jay's like my favourite character. Although he was kind of annoying and crystallised, but whatever. Um, and then we've got the Centaur King, the Overlord. Yeah, so I kind of set it up to where like, it's like a battle. They're about to have a fight. That's pretty cool. Over here, we've got my Sonic Mania Collector's Edition. Um, I've had this for quite a while. I really like the Sonic statue. Um... I put them where you like holding the ring, and then we've got the extra bits just there. Um, okay, so next, oh, let me get up. Oh, we've got a few more posters. We've got this uh, signed Breaking Bad poster that I got for my birthday uh, from my mum. Love my mum, she's so cool, man. Uh, then we've got this cool, really, these are really cool actually. I found these on Amazon each for about £13. They came framed as well. So we've got a God of War and a Last of Us poster. I just really like them, especially since they have like, the name of the game there. That's really cool. They're quite cheap as well on Amazon. Exactly what I wanted. And then over here, we've got the big boy. The best game of all time, man. Red Dead Redemption 2. Got a massive poster right above the sofa. Uh, going on to the sofa, we've got a plush of Snorlax, Gengar, Charmander with a hat. That I found in Tesco, and then I actually got it where I could just take the hat off. But I like it where he's got the hat on. Got Squirtle, and then we got an Oshwat. Oshwat, I love Oshwat, man. Um, Gen 5 was like when I got into Pokemon. Well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't play until Gen 6, but Gen 5 is when I actually really started liking it. Um, and you know, Oshwat, he's just, yeah, he's my guy. Uh, and then Squirtle and Charmander are absolutely cute, and I just love Gengar and Snorlax. Um, here we've just got a sofa, nothing too special about it. Got red and grey pillows, blanket. Uh, this is for LED strip lights. So it's actually on. Let me just close the curtain fully. Uh, so it's like, yeah, I have the strip lights going around this room. It's really cool. Playing God of War when it's like in red, it's just so cool. Um, there's a bin down there. That is pretty much it. Um, I don't really need to show you how the strip lights work, but you know, blue, green, like purple. Oh, purple looks good actually. So I hoped you enjoyed that room tour video. This is where I film my videos, where I play games. Uh, sometimes when I read, uh, it's just really a place to hang out. Luckily, like, I'm very fortunate for my parents to let me have this room as well as my bedroom actually. Um, I, I kept asking quite a while if I could just use this and they were like, you know, this room doesn't actually get used that much now. So they actually let me sort of convert it, and they did help me uh, obviously do this. Yeah, but we converted it into like a little nerdy gaming area for me because I also had a lot of stuff that was filling on my bedroom. Um, I'm very fortunate and very thankful that they let me do that. I'm very thankful for them as well. Um, love my parents very much. So yeah, I, I know I'm very lucky and fortunate to have this. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> I have also got a bedroom. I won't really, I, I don't want to show that off because it's more like a personal kind of area. Um, Plus, there's not really, like, much there. I kind of put all of my passion and just uh, hobbies in this room. And now my bedroom's just very, like, standard. This is where I sleep. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed, like, just looking at this whole room. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you click over here for watching another video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it, actually, because, yeah. Um, yeah, so, goodbye, guys.